Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the Cornerstone Builder. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's episode, we are going to take a quick high level look at how we customize the default number of items that are being piped through to our archive layouts. And this is especially useful when dealing with things like a custom post type. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now, some of you might be familiar with what we're looking at here. This was something that we covered in one of our other videos that was looking at Twig. We created this custom post type for Barbie barbecue sauces, and this was our archive layout for it. But as you'll see, this layout looks a little bit wonky because we have 12 barbecue sauces currently in the database, and we currently only have seven items listed out on the archive here. So where is this seven number coming from, and how do we change that? Well, your first instinct might be to jump into your archive layout and set a custom looper provider. But when dealing with archives, there's actually already a default provider on the page. So we don't want to necessarily set a custom provider here. So where is this seven number actually coming from? Well, if we jump into the back end of WordPress and we hover on settings and we click on reading, you'll notice that we have our blog pages show at most seven items. If I change this to nine and I click save and I jump back over to my barbecue sauces here and I refresh, you'll now notice we have nine items. So that's looking pretty good here, but because it's inherited globally from the blog, now if I jump back over to our blog here and I take a look at what we've got going on here, we have article nine up top, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one, which is looking a little weird. I wanted this to just be seven so that we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I go back to reading settings and I set this to seven and I jump back to our blog and I refresh, we have article nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. So this is looking pretty good on the blog now. But if I go back to our barbecue sauce, now it's back to inheriting seven as its number as well. So you'll see there's sort of this catch 22. Everything is inheriting the reading settings for our blog. So how do we customize that on a post type by post type basis? Well, it's actually super simple and we just need a little bit of PHP. So first and foremost, we're going to jump over to appearance here and you'll want to make sure that you have your child theme installed. As you'll see, I have that right here. If you don't yet have a child theme installed, you can jump on over to the theme code documentation, type in child theme, and download the child theme from there. You'll simply install it the same way you install any theme, and you'll want to make sure it is the active theme on your site. And this just ensures that any customizations, custom code, etc., that you are adding to the theme don't get overwritten with future updates. So with the child theme installed and active, we're going to jump into our theme file editor. Now you can do this via FTP as well, but I'm going to do it here just for the sake of ease and showing you how everything takes place directly within WordPress. So with theme file editor pulled up here and making sure that the pro child theme is the one that we have selected, we're going to click on our functions.php here. And this is where we can begin adding in additional functions for our custom queries. So the first thing we're gonna do is hook into the pre-get posts, which allows us to modify the query before it's executed. So we're gonna type in add action, and then we'll type in pre-get posts. And now we'll go ahead and type in our function name here, which we're gonna define below in a moment. So we'll call this custom barbecue sauce posts per page. And we'll add a semicolon here. Now we'll jump down and define our function. So we'll type in function and we wanna use that same name. So custom barbecue sauce posts per page is the name of our function and it's a query. And we'll go ahead and open up our curly braces here. And we want this function only to work on the front end of the site. We don't wanna accidentally change this back end when we're here in the admin. So we're going to type if it is not in the admin. So if it is not is admin, and then and query is main query and is post type archive. And then what archive do we wanna target? Well, if I go ahead and I look at my barbecue sauces here, you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen and it says post type equals bbq dash sauce. So that's the name of my post type. So I'm going to target the bbq dash sauce custom post type. I'll go ahead and open up another curly brace here. And inside of this is where we simply specify our post per page. So we're going to say query set posts per page is nine. And then we'll add a semicolon there. We'll make sure that we have our closing braces and click update file. Now, assuming we've done everything correctly here, if we go into our reading settings, you'll notice we still have seven for our blog. 
And so seven is what was showing up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But with our custom function, if I refresh this here, we now have nine on our barbecue sauces and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on our blog. So now our blog is inheriting this here, but we're overriding it for our barbecue sauces here. So let's say we wanted it to be 12. We could come in here and type 12, update file, jump back to our barbecue sauces, and now you'll notice we have three, six, nine, 12. But if I go back to my blog, I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven listed on the blog. And likewise, we could take this down to three for our barbecue sauces, jump back over, and on the blog, we still have seven, but on our barbecue sauces page, we only have three. So just like that, with a very simple line of code, we are able to customize how many items are piped through into our custom post type archive. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful, and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy building.